Steals Creativity. This is the title of Sir Ken Robinson's speech, still number one among the most popular TED speeches of all the time. I'm sure some of you may have seen this video, so have I, but I would like to connect it to another speech from, from a similar fine expert, because he claimed that the rewarding and punishing system that is used by most companies holds back productivity and creativity. At this point, everything became clear to me. I've just graduated from high school a couple, a couple of days, almost a month ago, so there is at least one thing that I can assure you, that both of them were spot on. Because we face the same problem in schools. So you get rewarded in accordance with your performance. Just the reward is not a seven-digit salary, but a five or an A in some places. Let me tell you an example of why. Imagine a situation, you get no reward, just think about it. You're driving home in a heavy rain, your car has two seats, and spot three people soaking wet in the bus stop. An old woman who needs to be taken to hospital, otherwise she will die, a man who saved your life once, and the most attractive person you have ever met. Who would you pick up? Save the old lady, show your gratitude for, for the man who saved your life once, or just pick up the most beautiful woman you have ever seen? <laughs> Think creatively. The good solution could be, I would give the car keys to the man to take the old lady to the hospital, and I would stay there with the most beautiful woman I've ever met. <laughs> now, this is, this is called out-of-the-box thinking, creativity in everyday terms. But let me tell you this story again with some slight differences. So, same car, heavy rain, same three people, but this time you know that your friend is an ambulance car driver, knows where exactly the hospital is, and accidentally, the most attractive person you have ever met likes traveling by public transport. It is a so much simple case, even a computer can solve it. And this is the point, because works that doesn't need creativity, like in this later that I told you, here, money or rewards or a good grade are the best source of motivation. And, but this, is, this narrows our horizons because in the next 50 years, robots will do this instead of people. The field where a qualified human will be needed is where we have to find out a creative solution. Like, who do you choose? What do you do? In a lot of cases, there is not even a good solution. And I think that we face exactly the same problem in schools. For example, solve a quadratic equation and you will get a five, otherwise you fail. Reward and punish. If you pass your exams, you can go to university. It's called if-then rewards. If you do this, then you get that. And it is a huge problem. But do we know any solutions? Of course, I could, I could share you hundreds of possibilities, but what really matters, in my opinion, is motivation. How to motivate a student to do something because it matters and not because he has to pass an exam or achieve a good grade. According to human resource experts, the best method of motivation is pride. But what is, it, what is it exactly? What is called pride? I can honestly tell you that it is a wonderful feeling, for which there are not even words. Deeper than happiness, more than self-esteem, loftier than confidence. Pride is regardless of your results, because it is the result. 
when you know you have put your all into the task. Deep down, you feel you did your best. Pride can come through the support of your family, your workplace, your teachers, your school. But in any circumstances, there is at least one thing that we have a chance to be proud of, and it is ourselves. I asked my classmates at our school leaving ball to think about where were you 12 years ago, and where are you now? 12 years ago, I was a six-year-old little kid sitting anxiously at the elementary table. Now, I'm an 18-year-old little kid standing anxiously in front of you. <laughs> but seriously, I am proud of the distance I have covered through the 12 years. And I am sure that each of you has something to be proud of. And learn this to motivate yourself in your work or in your studies. And even if you feel school may have killed your creativity or demotivated you, remember, there is a deep source of motivation hidden inside of you. It is called pride, and it is available to everyone. 